My next speaker is uh, Fazal Rehman of Ridi Saab, who belongs to Pashtun, Pashtun movement, and I don't have much time to give more details. Floor is yours, sir. First of all, I would like to thank uh, Mr. Fabio Hamilton, uh, Shadow Minister, Member of Parliament. Uh, for organizing this event, and Sardar Shokadri Kashmiri, Chairman of the UKPNP, for inviting me to this uh, August House. I would like to discuss the issue of extremism and violence and its impact on the societies from Pashtun ethnic minorities' perspective, living on both sides of the controversial during line, particularly ex Fata, now merged with Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and Northern Balochistan. Right from the creation of the convoluted state of Pakistan, Pashtun ethnic minority has been the target of worst kind of extremism and violence. Pashtuns have paid a very heavy price and were the first victim of radical Islamic ideology as initiated in the objective resolution of Pakistan. They were kept away from civilization and modern day education to be easily influenced and used as gun fodder by fighting others' war in our close vicinity and far away regions of the world. Pakistan very cleverly used Islamic identity as label, as repressive cultural tool to undermine our Pashtun identity. Radical Islamic ideology was used to fight jihad against the Soviets, which resulted in the killing and injuring of millions and displacement of millions of Pashtuns Afghans. More than 40,000 madrasas were established and educational curriculum was designed to radicalize young Pashtun to fight foreign wars. After Soviet withdrawal from Afghanistan, these fanatics and extremists were left to fight each other, which devastated the whole society. Not satisfied with so much destruction and miseries of Pashtuns, Pakistan, a state sponsor of terrorism and extremism, created another monster named Taliban in the year 1992. Taliban were used by Pakistan to completely rob Pashtuns of their traditions, cultural identity, and history. After 9-11, the state of Pakistan double-gamed both Americans and the Pashtuns by providing sanctuaries to Afghan Taliban and Pakistan army garrisons on one hand, while grabbing billions of dollars in military assistance from the United States of America to fight so-called war on terror. Instead of targeting Taliban and Al-Qaeda, Pakistani military killed 80,000 innocent Pashtuns by using F-16 jet bombers, helicopter gunships, and heavy artillery. More than 200,000 houses, 35,000 shops and markets, and infrastructure of Fatah and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa were razed to ground during the last 17 years. Pakistan army committed crimes and crimes against humanity by killing 80,000 civilians and more than 32,000 forcibly disappeared. We are still stuck between Taliban fanaticism to our west and Pakistani Punjabi militarism in the east. Since 2002, Pakistani military has conducted 12 operations in ex Fata and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Pakistan claimed victory against TTP in its so-called war on terror in 2018. But to our shock and dismay, once again on April 7, 2023, the National Security Committee of Pakistan approved yet another military operations to be conducted in Pakhtunkhwa. Earlier, under a deal between the state of Pakistan and Tehrika Taliban Pakistan, 44,000 militants were resettled settled in KPK. The time is short. Um, I would just say at the end uh, that the action aid of civil power, objective resolution, blasphemy laws, and some constitutional provisions have to be reviewed or repealed if we want a peaceful, progressive, tolerant, and vibrant society uh, in Pakistan. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I apologize for the time. Now, the last speaker is the Honorable Fabian uh, Hamilton. We are really uh, thank you.